reduce site joint pattern overview. So this is a one design pattern with the help of which we can do the joining between the data sets depending on the foreign key. So data sets will be given to multiple different mappers and mappers will find the respective foreign key between them and then it will perform joining operation. Different kinds of joining can take place the join, the inner join, the left outer join, right outer join and so on. This particular joining pattern is slower in operation and the output of the mappers will be going to the partitioner and then it will go to the reducer that is the join reducer to get the final outputs in part. So let us go for some more discussion on this topic. So what is reduced side join pattern? So the reduced side join pattern is simple to join property and it is easy to implement and it supports most of the joining types like our inner join, outer join, left outer join, right outer join and so on. So different kinds of joining can be implemented using this pattern. So this joining pattern is slower than any other patterns because here we are going to do the different kinds of joining between different data sets on the foreign key. So multiple large data sets can be joined by using the foreign key and using this very pattern. Reduce site join structure. So the mapper takes the input and each data set and finds the foreign key from them. So multiple data sets will be taken by the mappers and it will find the respective foreign key between them. The foreign key is the final key of the mapper output. So mapper will do the joining and that will be the output whatever is obtained this it will be considering those outputs in terms of the final key. Has partitioners or custom partitioners can be used to distribute the mappers output to the reducer. So here we will be doing the shorting and shuffling so that the respective reducer can get the required mappers outputs. So for that purpose we can use either hash partitioner or custom partitioner so that the mappers output will get distributed onto the reducers accordingly logically. So the reducer collects the records and performs the main joining operation using the keys. So now the reducer will produce the final output in terms of part and reducer is actually responsible to do, to do the joining operation. So let us discuss this one with one proper diagram. So just consider this diagram. So here we are having the data set A, we are having the data set B. So the data set has been split into multiple input splits. So these are the input splits for data set A and let they be the input splits for data set B. And here we are having the mappers are working, so join mappers. So here we can have this Bob 37, Bob is the key, 37 is the value, we are having Bob 33, here we are having Bob MD. So here we are having the employee name and the respective designation, we are having the employee name and the respective ages or some other values are there. So in this way you can have that we are having this outputs are there. So here you can find that here you can this Bob can be treated as a foreign key. So its output will be going to the partitioner. So either it will be the custom partitioner or it will be the hash partitioner. So there the shuffling and shorting will take place. So the mapper output will be going to the respective join reducer so that it can produce the final output in part. So in this way this reduce side join pattern can work and it has been depicted using this diagram. So in the next videos we will be discussing more on this topic. Please watch the next video for your clear your doubts and to get the more clarity on this subject. Thanks for watching this video.